Neil Aquina, uh, Alan, 38 minutes of playing time, only one turnover. That's key also. One turnover. Yeah, but, but again, he was not indecisive. We're seeing a player now who knows exactly where he has to go, calling plays, getting right into offense quickly. That was You don't see him a lot of times in the past right couple there. of years. And the the decisiveness of the shot, right? But this is what I love. He gets it up the floor, get in position, and let's go. Get right into your offense, and you get early offense at times, and that's when sometimes you get your best shots. Look at that. Also, again, the catch and shoot, not hesitating, shooting with confidence. You know why? Because David Fisdale told him, make mistakes. Look at that play, by the way. I mean, just a chase down block there, and then to follow it up, come down the floor, they forget about you, and knock it down. I mean, th there's a moment right there. And you see the bench. You heard what Marcus Morris said. They know what he's been through. They know he's a lottery pick, and they know he's been a guy that has been a slow grower. But he's starting to really blossom now, and they're seeing it. He's very popular among his teammates. I also know he's very popular among the fan base. There's a lot of people that have wanted to see him play. He's getting opportunity, and the best part is he's now starting to take advantage of that opportunity. But it goes, it really sounds simple, but I can't stress it enough. With Frank, it has never been about does he play defense, can he do this, can he do that. It's always been about when he steps in the game, is he coming in aggressive and ready to play? And now he is. His compete level is at an all-time high, and if it stays there, He's going to keep the minutes that he's getting. You know, Scott Perry has always said if Frank Nilakina can hit those open jump shots. And it's and those he, two. He always Shoot gets with confidence. the open jump shots right. when he plays. And if the, he can start hitting them like he did tonight, then you really got something. Exactly. And he needed to hear from the coaching staff, go ahead and miss. Miss as many shots as you have to until you're confident in every time you shoot it. Because he was always looking over his shoulder in the past. If I miss one, if I miss two, I, he started to, to tighten up. And he was worried about being taken out of the game. They let him know. Make mistakes. you got to learn from them, and you'll get through it. Don't worry about the offense. Just bring the defense you always bring. The offense will come because of the confidence you're getting from defense. I think you're seeing that. You saw it tonight. You saw it in the first half against Detroit, and this is becoming a trend now with him, and that's a positive thing. They've been waiting for this, and maybe he's the answer because he and R.J. Barrett are both young, and they have really good chemistry together. R.J. didn't have a great game offensively, but you can just see those two feet off each other.